I'm Carolyn Berry, and I am a graduate student in Urban Affairs and Public Policy, concentrating on historic preservation. And I did my thesis on sustainable tourism of New England gateway cities using New Bedford, Massachusetts as a case study. And each of my three main chapters were a different method of sustainable tourism. The first one was incorporating more history into the tourist narrative, um, making a commitment to local economies, focusing on local businesses and local food and farmers markets. And then the third one was using social media for marketing purposes. And prior to last summer at PEMC, I only used social media I, you know, for Facebook or personal reasons. And um, Matt sort of opened my eyes to how it could be used for research purposes. Right after PEMC, I created a blog using Blogspot to keep track of my research and for public engagement purposes. I had different pages on the blog for sources I had read, newspaper articles, books, people I had talked to, um, sites I was visiting in New Bedford, things that was going on, or history things that I would found in books that I had never heard before. And um, it was a really great way to organize my research and to get started that way, as well as to talk to other people that I would never have been in contact with. Um, my family's from New Bedford, and through the thesis process, I interviewed them, but I mean, I could talk to them all day about what they think of New Bedford, but hearing someone from Chicago or New Orleans who had come up to visit with their family and what they thought of the city is information that I never would have received if I hadn't done my research online. So it put me in contact with um, new sources, new points of view, so that was really useful, um, both in contact people and to stay organized in terms of the resources I was using. And then later in the summer, I got into Twitter, which I was sort of skeptical about, but um, I think Twitter was probably the most useful tool out of my whole social media thesis research experience. Um, I followed basically everyone that I could that had to do with New Bedford or sustainable tourism, social media, marketing, local economies, and they, some of them followed me back and I would retweet their tweets or comment on their tweets and it put me in contact with a lot more people or different ideas or, you know, here's what's happening in other cities that I didn't know about. And I think what's great about Twitter that I wasn't getting out of Facebook is that um, like on Twitter your profile is so short 140 characters so basically I said I'm a master's student I'm doing research on sustainable tourism in New Bedford like you know get at me with information as on Facebook since I already had a profile set up which was more personal related I sort of had to clean up my pages take out you know music interests or you know, what I was doing on the weekends and add more professional contacts or where I worked and email um, and sort of clean it up before I could like um, pages related to sustainable tourism or New Bedford or social media and that sort of thing and I think when people contact you through Facebook for professional reasons it's sort of too much information they don't want to know what you're doing on the weekends they don't want to know what music you're into um, they just want to contact you for the reason that they're contacting you and on Twitter I think that that there's a possibility for that. Um, and neither of those things, the blog or Twitter or Facebook, really was super time consuming. I was on Facebook anyways, and I had a smartphone so I could tweet wherever I was, or you know, retweeting is just one button, so that was easy. And then on the blog, I would just update it as I was reading, and s instead of taking notes on books as I, you know, writing notes or typing them in a computer, I was just updating the blog, so I would keep all my research, all my whole pro process um, on the blog. So I was doing it anyways. Um, so it was a good way to stay organized, and they were all great ways to stay in contact with other people. Um, the blog, I probably got maybe 80 or so hits a week. I think I had 20 solid followers, so I don't think I, con um, you know, it wasn't super popular, like blowing up the internet or anything, but. Um, it was useful and I met people that I wouldn't have met otherwise. Um, I think that social media is a tool that should absolutely be used for thesis or AP research. I don't think that you can um, connect with the same amount of people, both in numbers or like on the same level, just doing a presentation with a PowerPoint in front of a room of people because they are going to go to that presentation one time. and 
talk about your topic one time to those people. And if it's on Facebook or if you're posting it on Twitter, people can share it, people can go back to it. I think it's just so much more useful. You can talk to so many more people and they can talk to you about it. 